In this demo, we're going to be showing you how you can use the Freeform app on your iPad to create a songboard for children to engage with. The Freeform app is essentially a large notice board that you can post post-it notes, text, writing, and you can collaborate with other people in your setting. Firstly, we're going to create our songs using voice memos. So first of all, on the top right of your screen, open the Voice Memos app and on the bottom left of your screen, tap the record circle and record the first song you would like on your songboard. When you're finished, on the bottom right, tap done. On the top middle of the screen, tap on your title and rename your voice memo. And at the end of your last word, there might be an appropriate emoji that appears at the top of the keyboard and you could use that. On the top of the screen, tap on the sharrow and we're going to scroll down to the bottom of this menu and select Save to Files. On the top right of this white box, tap Save. To record another song, on the bottom left of your screen, tap the red circle. Repeat this process as many times as you would like to create as many songs as you need. Once you have recorded and saved all the songs you need to, single click your home button and then open the Freeform app, which is the app with a squiggle in the middle of it. We're going to create a new board, so in the top middle, tap the new button and we're going to rename it first by tapping on the top left the word untitled and then rename. And we're going to call it Christmas Songboard. Next, we're going to create four squares for our songs to sit in. So in the middle at the top, we're going to tap the shape button and we're going to choose the square at the top. We can adjust the size of this by dragging the circles around the edge and then just tap and drag the square where you need it to be. To change the color of the square, tap on the square itself and then the blue circle on that menu. If you tap on that, you can choose any of the colors to suit. We're now going to duplicate this box. So on your white menu there, tap on this square with a plus in it and it will create an identical version of this red box. Drag the box to where you want it to be, tap it to change the color and on the bottom left, tap on the red circle to choose a different color. Then tap on your duplicate icon again to duplicate the box. Continue changing the color and duplicating the box until you have four different color boxes. So as it is, the children would currently be able to move these boxes around and we don't want that. So on your menu, tap the three dots to lock each box. Select lock from the menu. Select the next one and select lock. And continue until all four boxes are locked. Next, we are going to insert our voice memos that we've previously recorded. So on the blue icons at the top, select the right hand one and select insert from. And it will come up with your files and on the left hand side, tap your iPad on my iPad and tap the folder songs. If yours is stored in a different place, you might need to tap on a different folder. So I'm going to tap, select all my Christmassy songs here and on the top right of the box, tap open. Once they appear, tap anywhere in the document and then tap on each one individually and drag them into the appropriate coloured box. We need to lock each of these in place as well. So once they're in the right place, tap on each one, tap on the three dots and the menu will appear and tap on lock again. Repeat the process to lock each voice memo. Next, we're going to choose an icon for each of our songs. So at the top icon, tap the square in the circle, then on the magnifying glass on the top left of that box, type in chimney, because we want to find a chimney icon, tap on whichever one you want to use, and drag that to the place you want to use it. Tap on the icon and tap on the blue dot to change the color to any color you'd like. I'm choosing white. We're going to lock each of these icons too, so tapping your three dots, select lock to keep that in the right place. Repeat the process for each of your different songs. I'm going to choose the donkey for little donkey. Tap on the icon you want, change the color by tapping on the blue dot and then three dots and lock it as well. Repeat the process for each song. 
If you make a mistake with your editing, on the top right of your screen is a little arrow in a circle, which is your undo button. The children can tap on each of these play buttons to be able to listen to each song in turn. If you would like your children to be more independent in the use of this songboard, we recommend that you enable guided access on your iPad. To find out how to do this, you can scan this QR code to watch a demo video that instructs you how to do it.